don't worry, that's the last slide you'll see. Let's do some straight database talk, no slides. In my 20 years as a DBA, I've never increased the percent free for the table storage parameters to resolve hot block weights. Is this really a practical solution? Are there any lessons to learn from increasing percent free to say something like 50 or 90% on an 8K block? Yes and no. In my experience, I've effectively done the same, but not using percent free, but I have done it in terms of deliberately spacing out rows to get them spread across blocks. When I say I haven't used percent free, percent free would have been a perfectly adequate solution. That's why I say it's yes and no. Uh, one of the things I've, a couple of things I've done in the past is one is a lot of the systems that came out of the sort of 90s, which used things like designer tools, you would have these tables called reference codes or metadata, et cetera, where you would dump a lot of very commonly and very hotly accessed data into these sort of very simple key lookup tables. You'd have sort of a list of valid suburbs, a list of valid states, a list of valid genders, all jammed in these tables that get hit very, very aggressively all the time. To avoid contention there, generally what we would do is a, what we used to call a single table hash cluster. And in that way, you could actually use the cluster size to spread out the rows across multiple blocks. Similarly, the other one is what we call the Hacken Factor. If you go search my YouTube channel for YouTube channel for Hacken Factor, you'll see that's a facility that was originally used for bitmap indexes, but you can use it for tables as well. Effectively, you set a cap on how many rows can sit in each individual block, therefore mimicking the same percent free facility. The reason those techniques have probably diminished in terms of frequency over the years is actually due to changes in the way we've implemented the buffer cache. Back in the day, when you accessed a chain along the buffer cache, we took a latch which was exclusive because the only thing that really existed in those days was exclusive latches, which means I'm reading some rows from a block and you don't get to. You don't even get to until I finish and release that latch. Round about Oracle, please don't quote me on this, maybe Oracle 10, maybe 9, maybe 11, somewhere around that time frame, we introduced the concept of shared latches, which means the latch is now a slightly more complicated memory structure, but it means people could come in with their intent saying, I'm not just after a block in memory, I'm after a block and by the way, I only want to read it. And therefore multiple people could now share the same latch and read the same set of blocks in memory. Because of that, it was predominantly latch contention that created the issue with hot blocks. By resolving the latch contention, the problem with hot blocks tendly disappears. So in that respect, you probably won't see it as frequently now, um, but there were in the past some systems I'd worked on which the access you know, levels were so extreme, generally due to do with bad code, that we actually spread rows out across blocks, just using different techniques, but ultimately the same as a larger percent free.